SMT Nation, we back. We've got a story here coming out of AT&T and a little bit about the consumer, you all, me included, and how we spend money and what the economic pressures are doing to our spending habits. AT&T exec says it's only a matter of time before people really feel inflation. But the AT&T CFO says consumer wireless plans will be the last to go. All right, let's see what he means here. Chief Financial Officer Pascal DeRoche of AT&T quoted as saying it's only a matter of time before consumers start to really feel the impact of inflation, but he thinks the wireless business will prove resilient. All right, so this was in the wake of the Federal Reserve report saying that there are jumps in debt that we haven't seen in years. Okay, so we're talking about like credit card debt, uh, possibly maybe an acceleration and defaulting in loans and payments and things of that nature. DeRoche said the consumer is starting to feel the pinch and that at these higher interest rate levels, credit card debt will be very expensive to maintain. This all uh, happening at a Morgan Stanley conference on Thursday. So the last thing a consumer is going to turn off is their wireless relationship. I think this is probably accurate. He says, all things cause me to be somewhat cautious, but candidly, when I think about where we are as an industry and as a, as a company, the last thing a consumer is going to do is turn off the wireless relationship. You need it to live. You need it to work. It's true. People are productive. They are using their phones and their wireless connectivity as productivity tool, a utility in a way, uh, as well as main connection communications with their loved ones, uh, their coworkers, you know, anybody who's in their life that they need to contact. Uh, so it says here, there's an uptick in delinquencies at AT&T slightly worse than pre-pandemic levels. That's not necessarily an alarming sign, he said, but rather something we have to keep a close eye on as we look out the next several quarters. This sounds to me like they're expecting economics to continue to be an issue for several quarters. Okay, does that mean, you know, Q4 of this year, obviously, uh, maybe Q1 and Q2 for sure, but he may be speaking through the rest of next year and the entirety of next year through Q3, Q4, and who knows, maybe leaning into 2024. So uh, this is um, trends across the wireless industry. It doesn't seem like he's imp implying that it's just at AT&T, but you know, we should get some kind of economic disclosures from the other carriers as well in due time. Uh, the company's enterprise business seems to be more exposed to economic pressures than the consumer business, according to DeRoche. He doesn't think that the current economic climate has accelerated declines in AT&T's business wireline segment. He acknowledged that in the future, if companies are faced with real economic challenges, they may all of a sudden decide, you know what? This legacy phone line is probably not a priority for me anymore. That means that businesses are going to be looking at ways to cut costs. So people aren't likely going to disconnect their wireless lines or their mobile lines. But businesses are going to look for places to reduce their operating costs, to reduce their spending, and that might be a legacy line or two that they simply do not need. So if they don't need it, they cut it off to save the money. And there's probably also some wireless lines on the enterprise that might not be required either. So there might be some cuts there as well. I will be tracking this. I will be looking and listening for more commentary from AT&T and other executives at other carriers to see if this does impact their bottom line, to see if it impacts their quarterly numbers. We'll probably find out some of this in January when we get the Q4 numbers from all the carriers. So this story basically tells me in the near term, don't expect anything on the consumer side to impact the financials, but it's possible we might see something from the business side. And by the way, business has been very good to AT&T lately, right? They've been thriving, especially with FirstNet and agency. You know, we'll see if that trend continues or if there is a setback. Anyways, comment on this, folks. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say on this. You all the voice of the people, the SMT Nation, let your voice be heard. Like, share, and subscribe for more. And turn on the bell notification icon to never miss an upload. Uh, I'll put the link for this article for you guys in the description as well. Words of positivity as we exit the video. Every new day is an opportunity to be great. Go out there and be great. Thanks for watching. See you all in the next one. Peace.